Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Uh, so, long story short, while I was at work today uh, on break, all of a sudden I pulled up Facebook for some reason and I saw there were a couple of free goats available. Ended up being one of the first people to contact him, so that was awesome. So, I went ahead. I don't have a trailer ready, so. Hopefully they both fit in this. If not, I might have to make a couple trips. But it's a couple weather goats. You guys will see them here in a little bit. Uh, they are La Machas. So if you guys know anything about goats, uh, these are a dairy breed that have no ears. But uh, <laughs> funny thing is, is they originally were my uncles. And then they went to another place, which we're headed to here in a little bit. And I know them pretty well, actually. So, everything's working out great. But anyway, there's going to be a bunch of auction footage mixed into this. So, I'm going to go ahead and drive over to the place to pick up the goats. And while I do that, you guys will watch some auction footage. And then we're going to see the goats. And we'll see how the rest of it all plays out. But anyway, this should be fun. And more bunnies. There are so many rabbits here. There are so many. Little guys. Guarantee people are banking on uh, the Easter market being good. We'll see what happens. About the right size for what people want, though. Young chickens. They look like Delaware. Young silky roos. Now, see, he's got a single comb. That is not a correct tone for this breed. Which makes me leery of what they actually, you know, if they're real or not. More bars. Bet they'll sell the rooster separate. They're pullets for sure. Look how small that egg is. Young roosters. And if I call out the wrong breed on some of these, feel free to correct me because I'm just giving my best educated guess. I mean, what are these? Rhode Island, New Hampshire's, Productions? I don't know. Red Roosters. And again. Trio, though. There's a peahen. You guys can see her at all. It says peacock. This one says peacock. This one says peahen. I'll, I'll take the word for it. Some more little birds. What's up, dude? little bunnies. Buff hens. And again, laying. Looks like Delawares. They look a little bit older, maybe not. Golden lace. See? This is what confuses me here. See, we got two different types of combs again. Single comb, and I'm gonna get this wrong. There's so many different other ones that look like that. I don't know if it's a rose comb or not, but you guys will tell me, I'm sure. <coughs> Bunnies. I am Sermani, or Cross at least. They're still cool chickens though. All black like that. Couple more. Couple of bards. No tails, no tails. Little duck. 
We've got some roosters. Big boy rooster. <clears throat> What's up there, King Tut? Couple of hens. Another root. Not pretty. What these are? Looks like they're hands though. Some funky colored silkies. Big box rooster. <laughs> and a big blue or More hands. <clears throat> Got some quail. Got some quail, they're a little hard to see here. Hopefully, you guys can see them. White bunnies. go through and count how many rabbits are here. I bet it's a silly number. If anyone does count, let me know. Guinea and a rooster. What's up, dude? What's this? We have a couple of pheasants. Looks like a uh, melanistics. If I had a place to put them, I'd get them. We'll see. Gold star pullets. They'll sell good. Everyone's looking for pullets this time of year. Some more. Some more. It's a lot of them. What do they go for? I mean, this is me guessing, obviously, but what? 18 to 25? And a ton of eggs. Oh, more pheasants. Okay, I've got here, got them loaded. A uh, little bit bigger than what I was expecting, but we got them to fit. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Now, you guys have a pigeon coop, right? Yeah. Because you guys got pigeons from me a long time ago. Yeah. You mind if we go look at them? Sure. Cool. Red ones like that. These are the homer. Ooh. He's a really pretty That is pretty. pretty. Then we have that one. Hope I can get this to focus a little bit here. Oh, there we go. Then that's his son, I think. Yeah, that's his son. Right there. And the, and Which one? Is, the one down low? Yeah, on that gray, on that little platform deal. Okay. And this is the ferals. Cool. Over here. These are the ferals over here. Red one. We never expected Whoa. that. Whoa. He's a really nice That bird. is a pretty red one. Well, that's a young bird right there, isn't it? We hatched about a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago? And this is Well, you guys got a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. We got like 40. That's, that's a lot. That's, I think that's more pigeons than I have right now. Got some cool looking white ones too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. It happens sometimes. I lost a few birds too. And one, and one time we found a, a guy who found out. There was an owl in the, in the. An owl in there? Yeah, he forgot to. Yeah, shut the door. Ah, uh, they got came in through there. Yeah. Did you lose a bunch of them? Yeah, only, only four. Only four. Mm. Nice. Dude, come back here. You're pretty. Oh, there's the colors bouncing off of them. Check them out. That is gorgeous. Eventually, I'll have pheasant pens where I can get something like that. That's cool.
so pretty. What's up, Rooster? And we got the bunnies. Four weeks old, it says. And we got some hens. More guineas. Sometime I gotta do a catch clean cook on guineas. Been probably 20 years since I've eaten one. More hens. Kind of a unique color. I don't know what those are. What in the world? Cayuga hatching eggs. That's cool. Cayuga's good are cool ducks. One thing I really like about these, it's kind of like people, they get white feathers as they get older, like up on their head and stuff. Like once you get a five-year-old drake or something like that, pretty cool. Like she's got some white on her breast there. Which could be a crossbreeding thing, don't get me wrong. But uh, I know Cayuga start getting whites once they uh, get a little bit older. Another pair. Cool birds. And again. Man, with them saying that they're only, what, less than a year old, she should not have white on her breast. That concerns me a little bit as far as the purebred side goes. Now let me let me know what you guys think. Leggers. Good old standard production worm breed. Rhode Island. Oh boy, we got hatching eggs again. Silkies. All sorts of silkies. Americanas. Buff and blue polish. They'll probably go for way too much, but I'll put them in the incubator if I get them. But, we got silkies. A couple of hens. And another silky. Some marin eggs. Uh, alright. Got a bunch more silkies. Little silkies. <laughs> oh dear. You've been catching a bunch of mice? Yeah, only three. Got three so far. Ooh. Well done. How many traps do you have out? I got three. I have one right there. Made peanut butter. Whoa. Then I have two in the pigeon coop. Cool. What kind of trap is that? It's a snapper. No, I mean the the big one here. Oh, this is a squirrelinator squirrel trap. Ah, turtle trap. Okay, cool. Squirrel. Oh, squirrel trap. I'm sorry, I heard turtle. I was like, I haven't seen one like that before. Yeah. Have you ever caught any squirrels in it? No. Not yet. We caught it a couple weeks ago, but we don't have any squirrels around here. All right. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks much. Awesome. Thank you much. <laughs> Close enough. All right, let's get these goats home. Yeah. Nice pie dub with that collar there. Why? I hope they go for ridiculous money. That way I don't feel bad not buying them. Because they are cool. Might have to buy the cage though. Oh, it's a walking wig. Or a long-haired guinea pig, whatever you want to call it. Talk about you in the back there, bud. You never know what you're gonna find here. Sell that. Big cage for sale as well. Caster Mini Rex there. And again. Or pigeons. It's a 
Good looking birds though. I like it. We got some silver, uh, silver lace wine dots. There's my words escaped me there a little bit there. Speckled Sussex. I do love the color scheme on those. There's some prettier ones up next year. Some more Sussex. Isn't that cool? Though? Like when they get a lot of white in them like that. They're really, really nice. But anyway, more ducks. Sound like Drake's. Bunch of hens. Ooh. Look like pullets. Eh, maybe not. A little bit older one, I think. What do we got here? More dwarf bunnies. Tiny little ears. I forgot to show you the eggs. Back here we've got goose eggs. I don't know how old those are. These two look like they might be worth something. These look like they've been out and about for a while. Gotta be careful when you're buying hatching eggs. Sometimes they're cracked like that. That's no bueno. And anyway, back to where we're at. Hollands. Laying good hens. <laughs> Big old rooster. And another hen. There's not even water for you to do that there, bud. Got some little ducks. I don't know if that's a hen or not, but all I can hear is Drake's quacking. Might be a solid trio, though. Oh, there's a hen. I heard that. Got some Polish. Polish last year were 40, 50 bucks a piece. This is crazy. I don't know, what are those death layers? I really have no idea. That's just shot in the dark. It's kind of cool though. Bunch more eggs. Tis the season. We've got some BB reds. Or I guess you say, old English bantams of the black, bla black breasted red variety. Maybe. I could be completely wrong. Who knows? <laughs> what do we got? Chickens. Right said about bringing them in boxes like this, you don't have to worry about people stealing your cages. But people can't see them quite as well either. Yep. Okay, well, I have made it home. You guys about ready to stop sharing uh, such a small area? Man, Lamaches look weird. You have some messed up horns, bud. Anyway, all right, I'll get you out of there soon. Uh, okay, so I have some ideas for the auction videos. I was reading through a bunch of guys' comments and stuff in the last one I put up. This one is forever long, so it's gonna be three, maybe even four videos long, but I'll get them out as fast as I can. Uh, but what I've been thinking is, what do you guys think about the idea of me just trying to flip stuff also every auction? So the premise basically would be, is I'm gonna go to the auction, I'm there anyway, I'm filming it, um, and writing down all these numbers and stuff. What do you guys think about me going through, and I try and pick out two or three or 10 or whatever number I pick of items, animals, whatever I can find there, and seeing if I can bring them back to the next auction and see if I win, lose, or draw. What do you guys think? I mean, technically, this last auction, I bought duck eggs. Well, I mean, I could take them right back and see if I make a buck. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys like the idea, hate the idea. Something I thought about doing. Anyway, not to mention it gives me a reason to buy stuff. Uh, so, this cage is in great shape, so I made sure uh, make sure they couldn't get out. But I gotta get these guys into the pen and see how they react with the other goats. Ferdinand, hey, uh, dude, don't go too far. Paco, hey. You gonna come out, bud? 
Huh? Huh? Okay, so they actually are pretty decently tame, or at least they were. Uh, let me see. Let me, I can't do this with this camera. Hold on. Let me catch them and try and get them in the pen. Looks expensive to me. So, peacock, peahen. Need more bucks. Take a bunch of grapes. Hens and roosters. That's a mixed group. And another pea hen. Wow. A lot of people with the same ideas. I really, really like that they went and put all these uh, cover around them. It makes the birds a lot more comfortable. Maybe if they go cheap enough, I'll pick up some. It's a bad idea, though. Uh, more melon sticks. Oh, he's pretty. Let's look at him. Pretty bird. He's not quite as black as a normal normal one I'd be looking at though. More old English trios. 2021 hatch. So they're young birds, or at least the first group was. A pair of them. I hear you, buddy. It's okay. More pigeons. Young bird there. What's up, Junior? Guineas. You can hear the one hen in there. Uh, looks like some uh, cardboard for making brooder area stuff. Ducks. Ducks sold really high. Well, some ducks sold high last time. If you go for cheap, I might get some. I have a farmer uh, who had lost a bunch of ducks to his coyotes. Lost a bunch of his ducks to coyotes. I'd like to get him some more. Little roosters. Proud guys. More buckaroos. Trio banners. Don't look pure, but who knows? A couple more little roosters. Buff trio. Big birds. Look how tanky he is. Same seller here. They look like really decent looking birds. Big body, lots of fluff. That's a bunch more roosters. Are they still going for eight bucks? You guys know, I don't know yet. Not that, he's got a big spur. That's an older bird. I bet he doesn't go for as much. That barred one? He'll probably go for more though. A pair of Polish. Man, if those go the same as last year, there's like $80 birds. Insane. More ruse. Ten month old pair of geese. Not that I need more geese, but you know. Laying well, they say. Young pullets. No idea what those are supposed to be. Chickens, I get it. Pigeons. Look at the pretty reds. Gotta love them. Little bunnies. And a couple more little bunnies. You guys play nice, okay? 
Hey. Hi. Okay, never mind. All right, goats. This video has gone on forever. Guys, play nice with everybody, okay? Normally, I would not get weathers, guys, uh, but my dad definitely needs uh, a couple lawn mowers, and these guys will do great. So they're gonna hang out here for a while, but I plan on taking them over to his place and letting them uh, eat grass there. So, that is the end of the video. Uh, we got a couple more animals to look at, keep an eye on, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like the auction videos, if you guys like the idea of what I got in mind for them, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Also, uh, yeah, <laughs> what do you guys think of the goats? <laughs> they look weird. Anyway, if you guys like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you guys enjoy the content, a subscription would be awesome. Uh, but whether you guys do those things or not, hope you guys have a great one, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.